Hi everyone, this is a quick introduction to the VP1 X-Star Charger, the multifunctional lithium-ion battery charger from X-Star. It is the VP1. It comes in a very large box and it has lots of nice features here if you'd like to read them sideways. Uh, but it is a nice little charger. It uh, is very functional and uh, here it is right here. Don't get too confused if you miss anything. This is a, uh, a relatively short primer. Uh, this is the charger itself. It holds two batteries at any one time, one or two. Both sides here, both slots work totally independently. And I just plugged it in a moment ago. And what you get is this nice little display here, which, what's, which is what sets it apart from a lot of the other chargers on the market. This little button here will change the uh, current that it feeds the batteries, either 0 0.25, 0 0.50, or 1.00. That's a very nice feature, and as you can see here, it says channel 1 and channel 2. What, uh, of course, now what happens is it doesn't matter how many batteries are in here, they all have to use the same charge. And if you want to read more about this, you can go to my website. But uh, basically, um, certain batteries, you'll only be able to... Um, you only be able to do certain batteries at once um, because they all don't uh, take the same charge. Uh, just a quick demonstration here. What I have is a 18650, one of the larger cells. Uh, for this, we will set it to 1. We will place the battery in thusly, and what happens right away is you get the charge of the battery. This is at 3.39 volts automatically. So what it starts doing, obviously, is charging the battery. And as soon as it starts doing that, you'll see that the voltage pops up immediately. Uh, a top, a top a voltage for one of these batteries, or pretty much any lithium of 3.7 volts, will be 4.20. Sometimes they'll actually charge to a little bit more than that before the charger is finished, but this charger will not show you anything higher than 4.20 volts. But as soon as it's finished charging, it'll actually show you the finished charge, which in many cases is below 4.20. So this could very well end up at 4.18, 4.19, 4.17. Um, etc. And that is perfectly good. It's wonderful that, it, that the charger wouldn't actually charge it to 4.20 or higher because that will uh, shorten the life of the battery over time. Um, anyway, so uh, it will take pretty much any size. It'll take uh, a 16340. It'll take uh, a 14500. And uh, it'll take a multitude of other sizes, including one of these 18350s. As I explained before, though, with it charging at one, you could only use two of these or one of these. For, because for any of these other batteries I've just shown you, they typically have to charge at 0 0.50. So you couldn't charge a 18650 and a uh, 18350 at the same time. I mean, basically you can. What I'm saying is uh, a 18650 charges at 1. I mean, you can charge a 18650 at 0.5, but it's going to take a long time to charge it. If you did that, then you could use one of these, or one of these, or a 16340. But uh, basically, um, but you, you, you could actually, but you can't charge any of these other ones at 1.00. They have to be charged at 0.5 or lower. What I would suggest is to go to my website, lightsandgear.com. The link is below. You will be able to read a whole lot more about the VP1 in detail and see lots of pictures. You'll also be able to purchase it and get links to other flashlights, accessories, and so forth. That's lightsandgear.com. That's my suggestion for the VP1 X-Star charger. It's a great little charger, and uh, see you next time.